What happened to Blamo? I mean, everyone played it, right? That one Roblox game with the purple bean character where you could travel between maps on a train? Everyone remembers it, right? I mean, it feels like just yesterday I came home from school and ran to my living room computer to see how many different maps I could count. Two, four, then it was six. At one point, I was up to ten. But as the game grew older by the months, players started to leave the game. Left to the point it was only updated a year ago, with a pathetic four-player count. A game even Dan TDM, the king of YouTube for many, made a video on this game. This game once rivaled Jailbreak, a game once seen on the front page for what felt like years. What happened to the little purple bean army wearing different hats, some with wings, some with speed shoes? What happened to the time that there were too many players in that tiny little train car to the point where nobody could get out? What happened to people hanging out and having chats inside that little train car? What happened to Blamo? Wow, 2016. What a year that was. Also, the year Blamo was released on Roblox. Within a couple months of the game's release, many YouTubers had begun making their videos on it. Even Stampy Longhead, also known as Stampy Longnose, the man who near single-handedly made my childhood, made a video on it. Along with even DanTDM, as well as many other YouTubers at the time. Even a COD YouTuber made a video on Blamo. Yeah, I'm not sure how that happened either. This game got so big it even has its own wiki page now. But what even is Blamo in the first place? Well, on the wiki, it doesn't appear to know either. The game has 20 maps, by no means are they large, but wow, they are stunning to look at. There are many weird, wacky, and cool easter eggs as well as NPCs you can talk to throughout the maps. A game with no objective. An open world game. No purpose, but to goof off. Or so it might seem. You see, when I looked through some of the maps of Blamo and talked to many different NPCs, I felt very almost put off. World too good to be true. Too lighthearted. Too nice. But the NPCs were very often contrasting to that. They would say stuff like, Hey, I came here to kill you, as you enter the map. This game is telling us we're aliens. Different NPCs you'll talk to will say stuff like, The world was peaceful until the train came by, now it won't leave. Which lead me to believe that the train is on an interstellar course that leads you through different planets and galaxies, using the planet's different inhabitants like a roadside circus. They don't want it to be a little circus animals, they just want us to leave. Because they didn't agree for this train with a derpy face to come through rolling down on some tracks that weren't there yesterday. They are just trying to live their lives. And Blamo, barge in, and create their worlds into pit stops. In some planets, this is a good thing, as we are told by NPCs they need help. But in the game, we can't help them. Probably because we need to get back on the train. But there will always be a train. The creator is giving us a mission we can't solve. This game would be a whole lot cooler if we could help them, but I don't think that is the reason for this game being made. It wasn't made to be another dumb generic Roblox RPG. It was made to have fun and explore. Could this game be a signal towards drug usage? The bean character called Blamo, representing a drug pill, and us, playing Blamo, take a psychotic trip through different dimensions? I mean, sure, the worlds are very bright and colorful with some having dark backstory. Could this game be warning kids about drug usage and not to ever try them? Well, yeah, maybe. That would be a great game idea. Maybe that is the idea of the game. Just waiting for people like me to dig into the game a little bit more. To find the real reason this game was made. But will we ever know? Or could this just be a game nodding at Earthbound? I mean, the opening song to the game is a remix of the Earthbound song. So that could make a lot more sense. I will also leave some neat info about Z Kevin along with his other work in the description of this video. Thank you for watching and have a very great day. Thank <laughs> you.